Hi. Um, I was wondering if it was possible to order some cakes. <laughs> How many did you want to do? Could I do 11 of them? I'm in the middle of doing my makeup, but I wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of what is going on because I am so busy this week. This week is Valentine's Day week and normally I'm not like a huge Valentine's Day person. I just like to find an excuse to celebrate no matter what holiday. I am an RA, so if you guys don't know, that means that I am a resident advisor and this week I'm holding a cake decorating event, which I'm actually so excited for because I've never done anything like it and I need to buy supplies so I'm rushing because I have classes soon I was so worried I was gonna be late to class and getting back on time but I'm eight minutes before class starts <laughs> Yeah. Guys, I just got out of lab and I'm genuinely <laughs> like I just I'm so tired. I don't want to do anything. Thankfully, I got out early today too. I got out at five, which means I only spent two hours in there. The last two ish weeks, I've been spending like three hours almost every day in the lab, and I feel like I'm about to go crazy. Like I'm at I'm at my reaching point, guys. Also, look how cute my nails are. I just got it done for Valentine's Day and it is so pretty. I'm like in my one young girly era. <gasps> ah! Okay, I might nap. Talk to you guys later. Good morning. So it is currently eight in the morning and it is Valentine's Day. I love making sweet treats. I love like baking and stuff. And because it's like a sweet treat holiday if that makes sense i think it's an excuse to like bake stuff and then just share them with people so this year i heard about like making these chocolate dipped pretzels and it sounded so good so i have pretzels here i have so many chocolates like ta-da and we're gonna melt them and make chocolate covered pretzels This is so much chocolate. One of the reasons why I wanted to try this because I heard it was fast and super easy to do. We're gonna give it a shot. <laughs> Should I microwave this more? This looks better. Okay, I got changed and I didn't think it through. And when I drizzled chocolate on top of the pretzels, they're all kind of stuck together now. <laughs> My dilemma here is this. I lift them up and they're all stuck together. And then if I break it off, then the chocolate comes off. <laughs> what do I do? I'm never this early in the lab, but kind of a busy day. So I putting on my lab coat. Why is this so tilted up? I had some people ask me like, oh, do I have restrictions on like what I wear, or how long my nails are for in the lab? And because this isn't a class technically, like it's my own kind of independent project, I am my own boss. I obviously still have to wear 
like lab stuff and say like not wear short skirts but I'm not handling really any chemicals or anything too too crazy so I can just wear whatever I just have to wear a lab coat and then wear gloves and I'm perfectly fine time to get started and try to zoom through this as fast as I can hi guys so i have been relaxing for a little bit ever since i got back from lab i'm gonna go out in a little bit with some friends so i took some time to do my makeup and because i've been so busy lately i've been very intentional about making time to relax and take care of myself and something that has been really helping me lately is this online class where i've been learning on like how to center embrace and nurture yourself and it's really really helped me develop a routine for myself making sure that i am very intentional about the times that i'm caring for my body and even if it's like a facial night or just time to meditate it's been helping me so so much and i've been learning this through skillshare self-care essentials learning path if you guys have not heard of skillshare they're an online community with thousands of classes ranging from photography and film to cooking to self-care there's so much for you to learn and explore on their website one of the things that i've really enjoyed exploring recently are their learning paths which are dedicated courses where you can can learn about a specific subject. The one that I'm taking right now is their self-care essentials and I really have been loving it. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are interested in learning or exploring some new project, hobby, topic, or just anything that you've been curious about, you can join the community by using the link in my description box and the first 500 people to sign up using the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So I hope this gives you guys the opportunity to explore a new project or hobby and I am going to continue relaxing and I'm gonna go out to dinner in a little bit so I will see you guys later I regret not wearing a jacket oh, it's so cold dance performance for my dance class and it is so cold outside. It's held at this building that I've literally never been to before except to take COVID tests like way back then when COVID was a huge thing my freshman sophomore year. I literally never knew what this building was held for. It's dark. It's so dark. I was about to head downstairs and I saw people going in a different direction. <sighs> Hello, so I just got back from the dance performance. I went to it because we we're required to attend at least two for our class and it was the first one I've ever went to. It was definitely very new, very fun. I really, really enjoyed it. Now I have to study. I think I'm gonna get changed into PJs and then work. I've been running around all day so I haven't had any chances to do the readings for my classes that are coming up. So I will see you guys later. Good morning! So I just took a shower and I am currently getting ready for a couple meetings and just a lot of work today. I woke up this morning and went into work and then went into the lab. I head into the lab early on Fridays because I have work in the building right next to it and it just makes sense for me to <laughs> go there then rather than go back to the other side of campus. So I have already gone into the lab today and now I'm just getting ready for the rest of my work day. I first have two meetings to go to there back to back and I honestly don't know like how or why these keep stacking up but I just see them on my calendar and I'm like, this is kind of crazy that there's so many. But then afterwards, I have a research ethics like film screening that I am helping organize and present. And then afterwards, I have the whole night to myself. And to be honest, I don't really want to go out and do anything. Lately, I've just been in the mood of wanting to curl up in my 
bed and the other week where i spent my friday night and practically my whole weekend just staying in and watching k-dramas that was genuinely so nice i don't know the last time i had done anything like it because i always save weekends for doing work or hanging out with friends and then weekdays are obviously classes and work like actual work not studying so being able to just spend time alone and relax is such an underrated activity lately i feel like there's so many good k-dramas and it's so hard to keep up because i'm the type to only watch one at a time and so even though i'm always seeing new ones come out i have to finish the ones i'm watching first and then all the ones that are on my list afterwards so it takes me like five years to go through k-dramas but if you guys have any good K-drama recommendations, please, please let me know. It's starting to rain! Seriously, been so hectic, but I finished prepping. Look how cute it is. I'm so excited. <laughs> Another day in the lab. I'm so tired. I don't want to be here. I just got back from eating dinner and it was so good it was a restaurant that i wanted to try out for a long long time but i was waiting for the hype to die down before i tried it or else it would be so crowded like i knew people who waited two hours to try it out and i was like i can't wait in line for two hours especially in the winter i had a lot of fun like this whole week has been so busy it's always really busy but i think this is the first week in a while where i've been able to make time for other people because I've been so caught up with doing classwork and lab work and just like regular work in general. I hope your guys' weeks have also been really good and that it's been filled with lots of love and good memories and that classes aren't too hectic for you guys right now. I wish you guys all the best and until next time, bye!